Okay, this is the pushing the block up the wall problem, and I like it because it makes you think a little. There's friction on the wall, and you're pushing at an angle, <coughs> and so it kind of goes back to the graviton problem where, you know, the centripetal force pushed you into the wall, and the force that the wall felt pushed back on you, and that was a normal force. So likewise, if you break this force up into components, let's see, where is theta? They called this theta, so that means this is theta. You remember geometry, transverse angle thingies? Okay, so this F cosine theta is what is um, pushing the mass into the wall, and the mass has to push back with an equal and opposite force F cosine theta then will be the normal force, and we're going to play around with friction. Uh, we also have F sine theta then, that's going to be the actual uh, force that pushes the mass up the wall, but that has to fight both um, the friction that uh, keeps it from falling down in addition to the weight of the object. So, I believe they're pushing up at a constant rate. They're pushing with a constant force for sure. Uh, they push it up at a constant speed. Isn't that convenient? Ultimately, they want you to find F. You do not know F, but you do know that F sine theta is balanced with the frictional force and the weight of the object. And again, you know, it's really just an algebra thing. You can do the math. Uh, the mass of the object will matter. There's no mass here. In fact, there's no mass here. F sine theta equals mu F cosine theta, I believe. I believe. Yeah, plus mg, and you know, get all your uh, blah blahs on the same side and do your algebra thing. Boop, boop. Ultimately, the problem asks you to find the work done moving the block up a certain distance. We'll call that distance D. So we need to find the force and the distance. Unfortunately, the force is being applied this way, so that's really a dot product. So we need oops, the sine theta thrown in. And, but we need to solve this not for F sine theta and plug it in because you have a force there. We need to solve for the force. Sine theta minus, if I move this term over, mu cosine theta equals mg. So this is ultimately going to be whoop, mg sine theta minus mu cosine theta. Okie dokie. There's the F and then the sine, and then the d, and if you plug everything in now, it should work.